Good afternoon on what is a mild grey and cloudy day. It is Wednesday the 31st of January and I'm in the reading up with a nice hot cup of tea. And this box to continue unboxing and what I have got in here is a copy of The Making of Another Major Picture mask, um, Masterpiece written by Tom Hanks which I picked up in the sale. Uh, now this is the first novel written by the actor Tom Hanks. Um, he's, I believe he's written some short fiction. Um, and um, this then um, is actually something which I listened to with interest uh, when it was broadcast um, on Radio 4. So, in, you know, I thought, okay, that's I quite enjoyed that. I might want to read the whole thing. So when I saw it in the sale, I picked up a copy. So, a wildly ambitious story of the making of a colossal star studded multi million dollar superhero action film and the humble comic book that inspired it all. Uh, spanning 80 years of a changing America and culminating in the opening of the film, we meet a colourful cast of characters, including a troubled soldier returning from the war, a young boy with an artistic gift, an inspired eccentric director, a pompous film star on the rise, a tireless production assistant, and countless film crew members who together create Hollywood magic. Uh, funny, touching, wonderful, pro provoking, the making of another major motion picture masterpiece offers an insider's take on the momentous efforts it takes to make a film. It is at once a reflection on America's past and present, on the world of show business, and on the real world as we live in it. Okay, so, nice touch. We have that, that movie stub of a ticket classic there, um, included on the inside page, um, and also by Tom Hanks, Uncommon Type, that's the collection of short stories. Uh, basically, you know, uh, typed up on, on the typewriter because he's a fan of the typewriter rather than the um, uh, the, the word processor. Uh, so um, right, uh, we have quote from Hamlet before we get into an actual contents page for a novel. And essentially the first section is the backstory. Now there isn't much necessarily to see in here um, and what we have notably notably is um, the inclusion of this Heroes Under Fire. This is the comic book which is um, which sort of like one of the characters draws based upon um, his uncle's experiences in, in the Pacific during World War II and inspires the story itself and it's drawn very much uh, in a style of the period right even right down to having these adverts in it which is a fantastic touch you know of the war the, the toys um that you could buy back then sort of like the plastic toys almost sort of essentially the equivalent of, of, of the army men um toys um you know brought into action in the toy story films um and also in computer games as well there are army men to, um, um uh, uh, computer games as well and essentially the, 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 the sort of like the main character the character of the film it will be this soldier wielding a flamethrower as he goes about you know fighting the war in the Pacific and here clearing a bunker full of the Japanese enemy um, you know, and so it's essentially this is a sanitized stylized kind of depiction of the um, um, of the story um, of that character's uncle um, so you know um, and at the same time, so essentially you have all of this, essentially this is all, all, all fiction and so on, with the various characters, and then we have um, essentially what actually comes of it. What for the journey from that comic book to this comic book here, the adaptation of the movie based upon the original comic book. Um, so entirely different in its drawing style, more modern, um, this is the sort of thing you'd see in an image comic, I suppose, or something of that ilk. You know, it becomes a superhero comic rather necessarily um, of a sort, um, rather than um, a story of World War II. It's essentially, uh, you know, the, the story is malleable and this sort of tells the story of the people involved and how it changes over the course of, you know, eight decades. So, yeah, there's an acknowledgement um, there as well. And um, a note on the type, 
because hay to the face is important and um, and we have even have some bonus reading material at the back essentially from the screenplay of the movie um, um, within the story and then at last uh, Tom Hanks so that's a little back blurb so yeah um, that's Tom Hanks the major uh, the making of, a, of another major motion uh, picture masterpiece as uh, section fiction which is going to sit by my bed and hopefully be read more more at some point um, and interesting to see how you know an original source goes from its its origins um, through its initial depiction to its final depiction on screen and then even in the comic book um, over the course of those decades so yeah that's Tom Hanks first novel well, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate it if you take the time to post those. And of course, if you want to be alerted to get more unboxings in the nook, where you will see me out here with a box uh, from which I will unbox a book or game or role-playing game, or in this case, an actual novel, and talk about it to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so. All of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. then please do click on the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching another unboxing in the nook. I will be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.